Stretching from our coastal borders with New Hampshire to Canada's 68 working waterfronts are getting much needed funding to repair the damage from those back to back January storms. Two storms in one week in January flooded and destroyed some of Maine's fishing infrastructure. FEMA workers assess that damage, and now, more than six months later, those asking for financial help from the state are being approved. It's work that we would have had to do. This will let's make that happen faster. Cranberry Isles Fishermen's Co-op on Islesford was preliminarily awarded more than $86,000 to better design its boat ramp and fuel lines to withstand severe weather. You wait till it's broken, then it takes a lot longer to get it fixed. Look Lobster Company saw two of its wharfs in Jonesport and Eastport nearly destroyed this winter. In Jonesport, we lost like uh, 48 feet of our lobster pier. Their second pier in Jonesport was even worse off. That pier is 600 feet long and we lost probably the out of 400 feet. He says he just repaired one of those two piers and is now getting back in business. Look says the $200,000 he's hoping gets final approval will make a huge difference to finish this work and prevent this level of damage from happening again. We've actually built the, the particular fish pier is a foot higher. We couldn't go any higher, but we made it a lot stronger and we built it out of pressure treated materials. Governor Mills's office says once each project gets final approval, funds will be distributed sometime after August 9th. I'm Owen Kingsley, CBS 13 News.